Exoplanets are defined as planets orbiting other stars outside of our own solar system. They come in a huge variety, from beautiful Earth-like environments to worlds nicknamed Hell Planets for their merciless surfaces. You will find everything from planets made of diamond to planets in deep freeze. Planets so close to their stars that their mass is being ripped away every second, and planets so far from their sun, we are still not sure how it is possible for them to exist. Some planets are rogues and wander in darkness through our universe. Others have such long years that one year in their world is equal to 900,000 years on ours. In this video, we are going to take a look at some of these planets and find out a bit more about them. The first exoplanets were discovered in the 1990s. So far, NASA has discovered 4,401 exoplanets, and that count could rise to tens of thousands within a decade as the number and observing power of robotic telescopes lofted into space is increased. But an astronomical revolution is expected with the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope in December, the world's most advanced space observatory. It will help astronomers study what the universe looked like millions of years ago. But for now, let's look at some of those scary planets we already know about. Our first is WASP-12b, the ultimate Frankenstein creation. This planet can only be described as a dark and doomed world, a puffed up planet in a death spiral. Just 3 million or so years from its eventual fiery demise, WASP-12b is spiraling inexorably inwards towards doom at the hands of its yellow dwarf star. New research has shown that the planet, located 600 light-years away in the Auriga constellation, is now so close that it has begun wobbling and distorting under the spell of the star's gravity. While intense stellar radiation has caused it to swell up so much that it's falling apart, the temperature on this planet is about 2,210 degrees centigrade. If you enjoy watching the world fall to pieces, then this planet is for you. The second of our planets is Korot 7b, a world of violent extremes, two hells in one. The reason why the sunrise on this planet looks so intense is because it is 60 times closer to its star than we are to our sun. That is, Korot 7b's star is 360 times larger in the sky. On its day side, this planet can reach 4700 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to melt and vaporize rock. Condensation during cooler fronts causes pebbles to form and then rocks to rain down. Theoretical models also give the planet boiling oceans and lava. This planet is locked into position with this fire and brimstone half always facing the sun. The other half of the planet is bitterly cold and can reach minus 392 degrees Fahrenheit, hence why it is said to be two hells in one. When discovered in 2009, Korot 7b was thought to be the first rocky Earth-like exoplanet discovered. However, we now classify it as uninhabitable and place the probability of life on this world as none. It's believed to have formed as a gas giant 100 times the size of Earth. As it migrated closer to its star, it shed gas until only a rocky core was left. Thirdly, the exoplanet 55 Cancri E, also known as Jensen. Strange things transpire in the twilight zone and stranger still is the planet Jensen. This planet is 40 light years away and is most famously known for being one-third diamond. This could be the result of an atmosphere that is mostly carbon, allowing the heat and pressure from both its sun and its interior to compress the planet's mass into diamond. Similar to Korot 7b, Jensen is tidal locked and has one side of the planet that always faces the sun and the other which is perpetually in darkness. It is so close to its star that water cannot exist in a liquid state and instead exists in a supercritical state, a strange behavior somewhere between a liquid and a gas. The added kick here is that Hubble detected what could be hydrogen cyanide oozing from below the planet's surface, giving us a superheated poisonous fluid. 
The estimated surface temperature of this planet is 4,800 degrees Fahrenheit, so we think it's safe to say it would be best to stick to mining diamonds here on Earth. Fourth on our list is HD 189773 b the planet where it rains glass sideways. This nightmare world is only 64 light years away and the closest hot Jupiter to Earth. It may look like a gorgeous deep blue marble floating serenely in space, but if you had the misfortune to visit this massive gas giant, you would soon regret it. As well as being spun furiously by winds blowing at 8700 kilometers per hour, you would be cut to shreds by glass rain. The planet's delightful blue color is the reflection of silicate in its atmosphere, silicate that, when heated by the planet's deadly 2,372 degrees Fahrenheit temperature, forms grains of glass. Our next planet is Tres 2b, the darkest exoplanet. It is so black you can hardly make out its shape, light just seems to fall into it. Identified by NASA's Kepler Space Telescope in 2011, it is the darkest known exoplanet, reflecting less than 1% of any light that hits it. Tres 2b is a Jupiter-sized exoplanet and orbits a star some 750 light years away in the direction of constellation Draco, and is the darkest planet or moon ever discovered. But Tres 2b is not completely black, it emits an extremely faint red glow, like that of a hot ember. And it turns out that heat is the main culprit behind the darkest of dark planets. Tres 2b orbits its star at a distance of just 3 million miles. By comparison, we are 93 million miles from our sun, which leads to surface temperatures on Tres 2b of more than 1800 degrees. That's too hot for the formation of ammonia clouds that would reflect some of that incoming radiation as they do on Jupiter. Rather, Tres 2b's atmosphere is made up of things like vaporized sodium, potassium, and titanium oxide, things that actually compound the problem by absorbing heat. But even these don't fully explain the planet's extreme blackness, which is still puzzling astronomers. There is some kind of strange chemistry going on out there that even Kepler can't see. Next, we have Kelt 9b, the hottest exoplanet. This ultra-hot Jupiter-type exoplanet is so scorching that it is even hotter than many stars. It orbits so close to its sun that its surface sizzles at 7,772 degrees Fahrenheit, so hot that it has atomic iron and titanium in its atmosphere, and a year lasts less than a day and a half. Using data from the Spitzer Space Telescope, researchers have found that the extreme temperatures on the planet's day side cause molecules of hydrogen gas to tear apart, only to recombine when they flow to the relatively cooler eternal light side, before being torn apart once more when they move back into the furnace. Now we go to the planet AU Microscopii b, tormented with deadly X-rays and other radiation from its star. Located less than 32 light years from Earth, AU Microscopii is among the youngest planetary systems ever observed by astronomers, and its star throws vicious temper tantrums. This devilish young system holds planet AU Microscopii b captive inside a looming disk of ghostly dust and ceaselessly torments it with deadly blasts of X-rays and other radiation, thwarting any chance of life. The gas exoplanet takes eight and a half days to complete one orbit around its star. It was discovered in 2020 by the TESS Observatory. Up next is planet K218b, where a swim may vaporize you. This planet is twice the radius and eight times the mass of Earth, and has been a top contender for an Earth-like planet for years. So there was huge excitement when it was announced in 2019 that water had been discovered in K218b's atmosphere. For the first time, we had found a rocky planet orbiting in the habitable zone of its star in which liquid water could potentially pool on the surface. Before we could dream of luxuriating in exotic oceans, though, came the view that K218b may be more like the far less friendly mini Neptunes, planets with a thick hydrogen atmosphere, a watery layer, and a rocky iron core, where temperatures and pressures are far too high to support life. New research suggests K218b could hover in a third zone, planets that look like a gaseous mini-Neptune but are actually rocky planets covered in superheated, super-compressed seas, 
where the water exists somewhere on the threshold between liquid and gas, and is topped by a steamy water vapor atmosphere. Sadly, we have to put our swimming costumes away for now.